The Best Bridge to Startup program is a four-month program that's open to undergraduate students as well as graduate students who are interested in working on their capstone project full-time and turning it into a venture. The problem that we are solving is the high fuel consumption of vehicles. We are trying to solve that by recycling the waste energy through electrification and uh, reduce that fuel consumption for these vehicles. We do custom chat GPT for your data. So the problem is customer support and customer engagement. Currently, it's expensive, it's slow. What we do is we use AI. We teach it all of the company's information. And then you have like a 24-7 expert that can answer any question from any user. The problem we are solving is that disabled drivers have a hard time getting gas at gas stations because it's difficult for them to get out of their cars and reach for the screen and the nozzle. So we've built a robotic arm that automates the process so they can stay in their cars. Part of the problem that we're solving is streamlining sustainability. We are a web-based platform that is a one-stop shop for everything sustainable. We have a lot of knowledge-based resources in our website that allow you to have a better understanding of sustainability. So the problem we're trying to solve is around the power utility sector. Power lines get damaged through vegetation or through wear and tear. And a lot of the current system is old as well. We're trying to get automated solution to maintain those lines. There are a lot of things that we learned uh, through the past four months. I learned how to manage the startup from like day-to-day -day actions, to manage the people around and uh, do this all experience in the a startup structure. Learning how to network myself, but also the business to individuals that I've never met before and how to sell myself. A startup success is not only about a groundbreaking idea, but also about how you execute it and your ability to constantly adapt to new challenges. As a founder, you get to do a lot of things because um, your team is small. So you have to do marketing, you have to do sales, you have to do development. So you get to learn like a bit about everything. You have to be very passionate about the problem you're solving. If you don't feel a connection to the problem and realize that people really need the solution, then the entrepreneurship journey is not as smooth sailing. Being able to ask for help, not a lot of people are good at asking for help. Throughout this program, I've got more in tune with asking for help because it makes work a lot easier for you. To know how to interview, Often you have to interview the right people for the job and it's very difficult to really figure out who the right person is if you do not have the right questions or the aptitude to understand what they're saying. Uh, over time, your priorities change and then you're going to make mistakes. What's important is to just pivot towards the right goals if you really believe in them and that's how you succeed. The persistence that you have to have, the industry that we're targeting is very old, uh, very bureaucratic. You had to speak to a lot of people. Finding those people was not very easy. Working with a team, uh, it's not the same as when you're in school. In school, you have grades. If things are not going well, or like someone's not pitching in, then you can just talk to um, one of the professors. Uh, but when you're here in a business, you have to work together, you have to work well, you have to get along. Getting out of bed in the morning and figuring out what is it that I have to do is different from a university environment or a job environment because you're given stuff that you have to do and you just end up doing it. But in a business, you have to get up, you have to figure out what milestones you have to achieve. The BB2S program, I highly recommend that because it helps the transition to the work field and it's a very safe environment to fail as well. Whether that be in entrepreneurship or not, even if I'm working as an employee, I've learned a lot of valuable skills that I can use in the future. We came into this program with already having a product developed, but we didn't really have a business model or a solid team or really any long-term goals, and this program really helped us define that. It also gave us the resources to hire more people and kind of grow our team. To get advice from people who have experienced the problem you will experience. Anybody that's wants to take a chance at entrepreneurship and they really feel passionate about a problem, they should give this program a shot because it gives you the support and the structure. And most importantly, it gives you a room full of people that believe in your idea. It teaches you about business, lifelong learning. Here we had some mentors that were really fantastic. They really pushed us. They gave us the confidence to be able to face this and, and try to talk to people. You'll get as much out of it as you want to put in. Even if you're not that experienced, this program is great. Taking your skill level, and leveling it up. We had weekly lectures as well. The program offered a lot of help from mentors and actual venture capitalists 
who guided us through the right path and they gave us constructive criticism. Passionate about entrepreneurship and you have an idea that you think could change the world, I totally recommend that you come and pitch your idea to the Best Lab. They will help you and assist you and we'll make sure like you succeed. My name is Paiga and I recently graduated from computer science. My name is Yasser. I just graduated from computer science. I'm Abbas Qasim. I'm a computer science student at Lasan School of Engineering. I'm Solomon Okosa, a recent graduate from computer engineering as well. My name is Jad Zaytun. I'm a mechanical engineering student. I'm Yusuf. I'm a mechanical engineer and I'm doing my master's in mechanical engineering. My name is Ali and I'm a mechanical engineer. I'm Ishmael. I'm also a mechanical engineer. My name is Christopher Korfman. I am an electrical engineering grad. My name is Rizwan Bhatti. I'm a mechanical engineering graduate. My name is Mohammed Fulwala and I am going to enter my final semester of software engineering. 